Hello, my name is Neil Darling and today I'm going to be tying uh, a crippled mayfly or March Brown nymph. Uh, it's a weave type uh, body and it's based on Steve Thornton's Ammonite uh, nymph uh, tying method. Nymph is tied on the Erex NS172 and it's the size 12. So first thing's a little bit of weight, not too much, just using a thin strip of lead foil which has some stickiness to the backing. As you can see, it's only a couple of wraps just to weight the fly a little bit. Thread is a Uni White 8 -O. the lead a little bit with a couple of journeys over it. I find it's easier at this point to rotate the hook in the vise a little bit just to give a better view of the rear of the hook so we can tie in um, sort of the breathers at the uh, base of the fly and it's just grey natural uh, ostrich hurl. Two strands. resize them a little bit. If they're just too long, that's not too bad. And next materials are the body materials and these are two different colours of uh, yarn, uh, embroidery yarn, and all I've done is split the yarn so that I've got two strands of tan, or very light tan, and dark brown for the top of the abdomen. Um, and this material was very kindly given to me by a, another tire, Jan de Haas, but you can get them from any sort of embroidery shops. It doesn't matter which one you tie in first colour wise or it doesn't matter what side of the hook it ends up. So try and tie one colour on one side of the hook and the other colour on the opposite. The dark brown comes towards me. either side of the hook as you secure down to the tail again. thread for a minute, get it out of my way, because our next job is to build up a little bit of a profile on the body or the abdomen and for this I find uni stretch um, is really good material, 
builds up that profile very quickly. So not too much material. So once down, leaving about three millimeters or so above the, the actual tail or the breathers and then back up. And that should just give us a little bit of extra bulk. Tie off. I tend to color this material just with a brown marker because sometimes you can get a few gaps in the weave that shows through so a little bit of a cheap method just to make sure that your fly looks a bit tighter when it's finished and I tend to leave the underside because the ink just soaks around the uni stretch so I'll do What I'm focusing on is the light colored thread. It's always gonna go over the dark thread um, so that we get the knots on either side of the actual uh, abdomen, abdomen. So it's always light over dark and it's a simple overhand knot just as you would start your shoelaces with really. And you might find it'll twist a little bit, but a little bit of encouragement. Just before I secure, I'm gonna push up on the dark to create a loop at the front. The dark goes to the top, the light goes to the underside, and I pull. And for this pattern, I'm pulling straight out away from the fly because oops, I want the knots to come right down the side of the abdomen. I'm trying not to pull too hard, but still be tight because there is a risk that the thread or the yarn will break. Um, if you wanted the knots to be slightly further under, just put a slight angle to, to the tighten and just keep that angle the same all the way through. So it's light over dark, overhand knot, pull, create a little bump or loop at the front, dark goes over the top, light comes round and the knot will automatically swap to the other side of the fly. And just pull straight out. It's a really good weave method to start with because the thread hopefully will tighten and stay tight for you on each knot. So that way you can start to get accustomed to the weaving of an abdomen. And it's quite a simple tying method to make a an effective body.
every now and again just check that the knots are where you want them to be and they're in line and every time I make a new knot I'm just focusing on the light going over the dark and then that dark going over the top of the hook from the th front of the knot so again just push up in the dark thread create that loop at the front and pull getting to the point where we can maybe finish this process. left enough room for the thorax at the front. I think we'll just go one more. If it is too much, we can always cover that with the thorax case and the dubbin anyway. Uh, the abdomen and you can see the sort of really nice light underbelly that it creates. So thread back on and we'll secure off the embroidery thread. Try and do, oops, twisting around there. Just, just pull and try and keep the thread either side of the hook and then tighten and you get that nice triangular finish. Three or four wraps to secure and then we can get rid of these strands. Like so. Let's tidy up a little bit. Okay, so next material is a clear flexi body. Um, I've cut this to four millimeters thick, um, a little bit thicker than it is needed, but um, I do like to pull the tension so it will stretch a little bit thinner. And I've just cut a, a small, not sharp, but a tying in point that helps me keep the actual flexi body sat on the top of the fly. into tighten. Just make sure it's, it's twisted a little bit. That's better. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to go back over one of my weaves because I think I need a little bit more room for the thorax. Yeah, we'll go back over one. And as I say, that doesn't matter because you can always dub over and that looks a lot better. Okay, so again, tighten down. And just check everything. Okay, a little bit of wax for the thread. And I'm going to put on the legs of the, the actual uh, nymph, and for this it's um, partridge, slightly brown sort of coloration to this one. The first thing I do is try and size whether the uh, hackle length or the barb length is appropriate by placing the barb of the feather against the eye of the hook because that's the last point of the feather that we're going to get. And if it's just brushing the back of the abdomen, that's possibly just about right. So I'm going to reverse it round 
and tie the partridge in by its tips. One loose wrap first of all, just to make sure you can keep it on the top and in the centre and then all the way back to the end of the thorax point and again tighten in. Next, I'm going to use some uh, Vicuna dubbing. Um, for this one, dark brown abdomen, so I'm going to go a slightly uh, cinnamon mix just for a slightly lighter thorax colour. I want a sort of an angular profile. So I'll work backwards towards the back of the thorax and then just a very light dubbing to come back through to the hook eye. See, there's a sort of an angular motion uh, shape profile to the actual thorax. Trying to be delicate with this because sometimes the hackles are a little bit delicate and soft. I'm just trying to get those barbs to roof backwards and then a couple of wraps just to secure. Don't worry if it's not perfect at this point. for a little bit of positional um, work at the end once I've got the flexi skin over the top or the flexi body. Pinch the barbs, pull them downwards. Might have to do it a couple of times until you're happy. And then pull that and then the skin up and over the top. And stretch it a little. And again, a couple of wraps to secure that in. And you can see how the hackle has moved a little bit. So hopefully I should be able to gently, that's not gonna stretch on me. I'll just tighten that hackle a bit more. Stretch and cut off as close. 
closer to the thread as you can. may not be where you want it to be so you can start to just brush some of those barbs down into the position and then with finger and thumb just pinch the barbs and gently push back just to crease and bend those hackle uh, fibers or barbs in against the body and you get that really nice tight sort of leg maybe wing case struggling to come through sort of effect and then we're going to put some marker pen on the top just to color off thorax color It's a thin coat of UV red, oh, UV resin. Crippled Mayfly March Brown Nymph tied using the Steve Thornton's Ammonite Nymph tying method. <laughs> 